Hello. Welcome <laughs> back. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! Um, welcome back, or for the first time, to um, Old Bollocks. Um, with myself, Howard H. Smith, and my good friend, Old Head. How are you doing? Hello, I'm great. I'm great. You know, always, always great to do this. Yeah, yeah, we, we haven't done one for a while, actually, have we? Has it been two months? I don't even remember when the last one was. It's, but it's you know the last the last yeah. one of twenty third uh, twenty thirteen <laughs> twenty twenty three. That was ten years in the past. Yeah, yeah. Well, that that'll come up later. Um, and um, I guess this is the this is the Christmas one. I I was flicking through the podcast today and I saw that um, uh, you had Christmas hats on us for this episode last year. So you're gonna have to, you know, make sure you don't disappoint with the Christmas hat. Actually, it, actually, the, the the way that I put out my episodes, this one should be coming out on Christmas Day. So, Merry Christmas! Here's a present from wow. us to you. Yeah, and uh, uh, seasons greetings, happy holidays, as you say in the states. Um, uh, Merry Christmas and all that rubbish. Yeah, that's that's it, really, isn't it? And we and we bring to you. Uh, th- this will, I guess, this is going to be kind of a loose episode because. The the end of the year, there's never a lot of releases yeah. coming out, and um, so I've only got two things to talk about. But I'll, I, as I said, as I suggested, we also should talk about uh, what we're looking forward to in 2024 because yeah. there's actually a long list of that. But um, oh, I've I've done absolutely no homework on that, so I'm just gonna have to bullshit my way through that. But you know, okay, I do well then may, um, anyway. I might be informing you of maybe one or two things that you'll be interested in. Who knows? Okay, yeah, cool. Um, and uh, well, I'm already interested in the fact that um, obviously, you know, we have a little chat before the show starts, before we start recording. But you know, I have no idea um, uh, what Stephen's got. And he's got no idea what I've got. But what I do know is so far he's taken a sip out of his 72 seasons mug and he's got a 72 seasons carrier bag in the distance around the door handle. And uh, there's probably a 72 seasons blow up doll of James Hetfield in that fucking room somewhere. If they if they made one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. I know. Um, um, they're, 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 I, my my. Uh... As we record, when we're recording this, my top ten of the year came out today. So um, ah, right. Well, uh, I would imagine seventy-two seasons is in there. Is it number it, one? It's somewhere near the top, maybe a, around one. It's uh, yeah, it's in the top one, isn't it? <laughs> it's in the top one percent. Um, yeah. But uh, but yeah, I I I I really liked the album. I don't really need to review it. We talked about it before. Yeah. But it, no. But, no. Absolutely. It, it, has, it has gotten better. But that's that's the interesting thing about that album is there's things about it as I've gone back to it I actually started liking more than I already liked it which was a nice surprise so I wouldn't go that far but I would say that I agree it's it it stood up really well mm-hmm. um and um yeah I, I'm you know when it, whenever it appears in my ears or if I stick the CD in um I, I don't know I'm kind of still pleasantly surprised like mm-hmm. at, every time I listen to it I don't religi- religiously listen to it. Like I'm sure that you you have the amount of times you've listened to it, but yeah, I'm I'm still like, wow, this is yeah, oh, this is this is good. This yeah, is good. In, it, in my opinion, nowhere near as good as Death Magnetic, but it's it's yeah. an, an improvement over Hardwired for me. So. Uh, oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. I mean, well, you know, I've got I've got no love for for Hardwired. Um, I've I've banged on about that before. Um. But um, yeah, well, there's there's no new Metallica for you to look forward to next season. Uh, next season, fucking hell, seventy two seasons. It's all in, uh, uh, next year, but possibly um, for the next five or six years, <laughs> they're going to be uh, yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. They're going to be well, at almost seventy by the time the next album comes out. Um, That's if they if scary. they do another one, but I don't, I, mm. I I'm hoping that they get their shit together and do something quicker, and maybe an album that doesn't seem. The only thing about the the later era metallica is i feel like they labor over it way too much and i almost yeah. would like to hear what they did if they just threw an album together in a month or two and that would be fun yeah but I well know. i i also think that um the thing is that they they know like the minute they enter enter the studio to do an album and all the rest of it you're basically burning cash yeah. you know yeah you're off the road you're not earning um so yeah um they're gonna they're gonna tour the nuts off this thing 
Yeah, they really I mean, are. I, I mean, and that's I, I understand that. That's fine. Whatever. I mean, I saw them. They were great, and I had a good time. And I, I bought a shitload of merch, as you saw. <laughs> Shirts, what mugs, else whatever they had. Um, but yeah, but enough Metallica. I think everyone's yeah. Metallica out, especially on my channel. They're like, dude, you've talked about it enough. We get it. Yeah, um, absolutely. Sorry, uh, listeners and viewers. That <laughs> so was all my uh, fault. I, I led him down the Metallica path, and he just, you know, he ran off <laughs> down it. I'm always happy to talk about them, but I do realize that, that there's a select amount of people that are still interested in what they're doing. Um, yeah. But yeah. Uh, but I, I'll, I'll go ahead and talk about an album, uh, do a little quick album review. Um, yeah, go, I, well, go for it, because I've, I've got an album and um, an EP. Okay, cool. I've got, uh, these are both, I got my vinyls here. Um, I want to talk about uh, this one, the newest album from Suffocation, um, which is, I think, their ninth album, um, Hymns from the Apocrypha. And I, uh, I'm a death metal fan, and Suffocation is one of the OGs. I mean, they've been putting out shit since nine, 91 was their first album, I think. Yeah. Um, and uh, this isn't was an dude, interesting... Isn't the dude from Suffocation the guy that a lot of people credit with being the, the drummer who invented blast beats, or at least first to kind of use them in death metal, or am I confusing that with somebody else? You're, what, you're confusing the vocalist who they say he's one of the, the pioneers of the guttural vocal. Like right, okay. doing it the really deep, you know, because you know this would have been ninety ninety one when their first shit came out, and then when Chris Barnes finally went really guttural and Cannibal Corpse, that would have been ninety two. So it's like or ninety one, yeah. I guess. I mean, it's all around the same time. But people credit his name's uh, his name's Frank Mullen. I actually interviewed him um, on my channel, and uh, oh. he's a he's a great guy. But he's yeah. not the vocalist on this album. Like he retired. And this is the first one with a new vocalist whose name is Ricky Myers. And for people who don't listen to death metal, it's, it sounds the same. <laughs> it's like, a, but this, uh, this is so great. I love the fact that all these old, I mean, they've been doing it for such a long time, but they still make this technical death metal that sounds like younger bands are really lazy. And I'm just like, that's so I, I love that that's how things have kind of moved you know, because even in the world of thrash, I would say that older thrash bands, some that, you know, I, uh, am, am I allowed to say that I've heard new demos? <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, well, you have now. So, you know, God you go. damn it. But I'm just saying there are older thrash bands that are doing shit that's way more interesting than what these younger bands are doing. And I just think that's such a fascinating thing because you would think that heavy, fast music was a young person's game. But, I mean, and, and in certain ways it is, I guess, because I guess, you know, in, in a live setting, the younger bands probably have way more energy um, on stage. But I just love the fact that, like, these bands that have been doing it for so long will still put out an album and I'll go, God damn, that is fucking impressive. And, uh, and that's what this Suffocation album is. It's like, it's pretty straightforward technical death metal with a lot of killer riffs and and uh guttural vocals it's brutal and fast and um it's awesome it sounds good so uh, that's they, i i love that review because that is yeah. pretty much that's it's pretty much all that needed really isn't it it's like look, yeah it's fucking old school technical death metal that's still kicking ass after all these years and absolutely you know they, like they, this is what you want well it, it's funny you should say that because um the album i'm gonna plug is also um one of my favorite interviews that i've done this year oh, and nice. um possibly the longest interview i've ever done and uh and, and goes to some uh incredibly dark places pretty much like the album does because mm -hmm. that's where the conversation led us um the album is the new album um it will be out now uh it wasn't when i did the interview um it's been out i think about 10 days and it's um vivid black by ectomorph now, I got their album through uh, a PR and I was like, I'm, you know, I, I, I dip into the world of Ectomorph now and again, um, mm -hmm. really like the earlier stuff, not, not kept up to, up to date recently. So I downloaded the album, played it once and emailed the PR back and said, I need to speak to this guy. Yeah. And she arranged it. 
And there was an interesting like twist, which was no camera. Fine using Zoom, but no camera. Okay. And um, I think it made for a better interview. Now, I yeah. don't know if that was his plan or whatever, but it presented it, it prevented me being visually distracted. Or You can just relax. Do you know what I mean? It was like I, I could just sit here with the mic on my chest and just listen and focus into the conversation. Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, I, like pretty much out the gate, it's like, you know, fuck me, 30 years in, and this is about as heavy and angry as – I've ever heard you. Um, you know, is everything okay? Is everything <laughs> is everything okay at home, boy? Um, and um, uh, and we and we, you know, we we went into um, a lot of the reasons why the album is so dark and is so angry. Um, and I absolutely love it. It is brutal. It is melodic at times. It's brutal in a kind of sepultury kind of way. It's quite uh, there's bits of kind of hardcore in there as well. Um, there's some adventurous vocals, which we, we talked a lot about um, mm -hmm. how they work. And, uh, and by the end of the interview, we realized that we, we've got so much in common and we, we carried on messaging on Instagram and, and have since then as well. Um, and it's uh, I, the album. I'm just, I sound like I'm reviewing the fucking interview. Sorry. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, that's coming early next year, folks. Tune in to Talking Bollocks. Well, of course, you're going to tune in to Talking Bollocks if you're listening to this, because obviously it's in the same feed. But if you're not and you're watching this, make sure that you, you check it out on Talking Bollocks. Um, it's, I, I absolutely love it. It is less than 30 minutes. It's 10 tracks. It does not fuck about. It does not hang around. It does not outstay. It's welcome. If anything, you're kind of at the end of it. The first time I listened to it, mm -hmm. And sent the email to the PR and then listened to the whole thing again and then listened to the whole thing. And I must have played it three or four times in one day. Um, and I, I I really, really like it. I really do. I, and it's amazing because I'm going to have to, I think, extend. I Normally I do a top five. I think I'm just going to be extended this year. It may even be a top ten because I think it's been a great year. Yeah. And um, and. And for an album to come out in December, okay, so I, I got it in November, but for an album to come out that late in the year and and kick its way into my favourite albums of the year, then it's got to be pretty special. And, um, yeah, I I really, really like it. And, um, I mean, if you are into any era of stuff like Sepultura or, like, you know, that that kind of hardcore metal, mm -hmm. um, then then check out check out um vivid black by um uh, by ectomorph i would i'd particularly um uh recommend um uh, i'm just flicking it by here um i'd particularly recommend um uh never be the same which uh, never be the same again which kills i mean you can check out all sorts of you know i'm sure the whole album's up on youtube anyway but um mm -hmm. yeah Cool as fuck, cool as fuck. And Zoltan, who um, I interviewed, is just like absolute dude. Um, we had a great chat. And um, yeah, nothing but love, respect for him and um, uh, and for the album, to be honest. It's, it's, it's quite a work. It really, really is. And um, produced again by Chu Madsen, who he's worked with nearly into his entire career. So like they've been working with Chu Madsen before, you know, before most bands had even heard of the guy. Mm -hmm. um and he's a you know it, look him up he's he's worked with everybody um and yeah i um i like it a lot as you can probably tell I, yeah i i don't think i've ever even heard of the band um so wow. that's that's interesting so that's something i gotta go check out yeah cause... yeah hungarian um hungarian thrash um i mean the, the comparisons with sepultura are many they were they yeah. were, um they were brothers in the band up until about 2018 Mm -hmm. um uh hungarian gypsy background um uh have faced a lot of you know oppression um and um and you know racism um and yeah i mean there, it, there's there's a bunch of good albums by this band and funnily enough in the interview um he like openly i wouldn't say slags off but it's like absolutely has no problem with saying, yeah, forget about that album. It's not very good. 
<laughs> which, which which was just so refreshing and completely caught me off guard because yeah. no one does that you know yeah no yeah. one does that um, or or when or when they do they always they're always talking about the album that i love a lot <laughs> like, yeah yeah, oh, well, yeah well, that, that album. That. i'm like i love that one yeah. Jeez. Well, it, it, it's just it was just really refreshing, and but yeah, um, well, there you go. Thirty years into into their career, you've now um, you you now know who they are. Ectomorph. And, um, yeah, yeah, ectomorph, vivid black. Um, check it out, kids. Sweet. We're we're, we're gonna we're this is gonna be the you're probably gonna have a sore neck from this transition because it's <laughs> we're gonna Uh-oh. because th- this is an album. I don't. You probably either have no. Uh, uh, business or, or or desire to even talk about this album, or maybe you do. I don't know. Okay, I didn't think go. that I, I didn't think that I would be wanting to talk about this album. Now I it's didn't. Not fucking, it. It's a fucking White Lion, is it? I love White Lion. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm, I'm, yeah. I, I still can't figure that one out. You, the, the the issue is you haven't heard the, the album. <laughs> I think that if if you're thinking of White Line and you're thinking of a single, that might be a different story. That's like thinking of Extreme and you think more than words. I'm like, that's not really what they sounded like. But you know, no, no, no. I'm thinking the band White Lion. I'm just never a fan. I know. What well, that's what. But I think that anyway. I think they get a yeah, raw yeah, deal yeah. because they they're lumped in with hair metal and there's a little bit of that in there. But anyway, this okay. is not that. But okay. I did not expect to care about this album when it came out. I, I was going to check it out because this is a band from my past. Ah, right. Was... Okay. So let me stop you there. Let me stop you there. Okay. Because I'm, okay. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm almost toying with the idea of starting yet another podcast, you know, because like you know, 50, <laughs> 50 isn't enough. Yeah. Um, look, you know the feeling for fuck's sake, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking of starting a podcast that is purely one album bands. And just and just getting people to talk. I'm not quite sure how the thing is going to work. It's still forming in my brain. Yeah. But it's like, like uh, there's several bands, Fear Factory being one, where it's one album. That's oh. it. Nothing before that. Nothing since that. It's that one album. But you yeah. keep dipping after, and sometimes it can be over a decade that you're still hanging on. You're yeah. still clinging on for that for that that next album that they might fucking surprise you with. Yeah. And you and and don't, but on rare well, occasions it 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 happens. So it, is this yeah. what happened to you? No, well, not exactly because this is I've liked several albums by this band, but their first album came out when I was in high school. We're we're a similar age, and Ooh. so there's a connection there. So I'm always yeah. I'm always keeping up with them. Yeah, and um, I'll just fucking hold it up. Um. Blink-182. Ah, right. The new Blink-182, which, what is it called? This one, the, the version I have doesn't even have a fucking title. It's just Blink-182. Um, anyway, so the fact that I even bought a vinyl of this, like that's the thing that I was like, because I, I knew they had gotten all the three, Not they're not the original members, but the three, you know, from the heyday of the band got back together, you know, and, uh, and you know, oh, hey, we have a new album. And the first single they released from it, I just went, eh, I'm probably not going to be into this. But then the album dropped and I just one day sat down and pushed play. And I was just like, man, this is a, there's a lot of really good songs here. My, my only gripe is I don't really like the production because it's a little, they, they're, it's almost like they're doing a Hey Fellow Kids with the modern production kind of thing. Um, but I was really surprised at the quality of the songs the energy of the songs and the fact and this is why i think i it, it's a it's a nostalgic thing for me there i feel some sort of emotion with them because i know what they've been through all of them you know yeah. from from just inner turmoil to mark you know battling cancer travis in a plane crash all of these things you know i i know what they've been through and i've been following them for for all these years but honestly it, it's been since the early 2000s that i really liked something that they put out and so i was really pleasantly surprised that i legitimately enjoy the new blink 182 and i'm just like wow and it and there is that nostalgic quality where it just like some of it just makes me feel like i felt when i heard their first album when i was in high school and so um yeah, 
I just figured it didn't, you know, obviously I didn't like it enough for it to make my top 10, but it, it, I was so, I mean, it like the fact that this became one that I listened to multiple times and enjoyed thoroughly every time. I'm like, great, good for them, man. It makes me happy for them that they're, that they're not just getting back together, <laughs> uh, playing the hits and, uh, you know, whatever, recycling the same old shit. Like this really feels like, uh, an honest new Blink album, and uh, and it's it's fun. So that's it. That's my. Uh... Is there a, is there a song on there that directly addresses them getting back together? And there's there's some some lyrics like you know, do I have to die? Yeah, yeah, that's the, that's I, one. Yeah, I think that's one more time. I think that's the song is called One More Time. I've I, I I've seen the video uh-huh. on YouTube, mm-hmm. and um, and it. It it grabbed me, mm-hmm. um, quite because I was oh a new blink and like it quite early on you're like, oh right this is like frighteningly directly let's not dance around the subject lyrically let's just actually tell it like it is, uh-huh. and I I was I was a bit stunned I was agog I was lost for words because yeah. it's. Yeah, that is a lyric in the song, you know, do, do you know, do I have to die for you to care or, 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 or you know, and, and basically all realizing that whatever has been said in the past, whatever arguments they've had, whatever they've said, it doesn't matter. Yeah. What matters is it's water under the bridge. We're men of a certain age. And before we actually fucking die, because we've all had a brush with death. Mm-hmm. Why don't we get together and do what we were put here to do again? Yeah. And um, I watched the whole video and I was, I was I, not to the extent where I was like, Oh, I must check out the album, but yeah. I was pretty, it's an emotional video. It, I mean, you know, it, it, I found it quite touching to be honest. Yeah. Um, and, and, and that's honestly, that's just one of the elements of the album because there's still like fast punk stuff. Um, there's even a song that almost sounds kind of like a new wave song on here as well. Um, but the there, there's a, there's a few moments where they touch on that idea of we're getting older and a lot of what we're known for feels like a young man's game, um, yeah. stuff like that. But it's just, yeah, it's a, the quality of that song. That's, that's not even one of my favorite songs on the album. I, I think it's because that one, to me, it's a little heavy handed, but I do, yes, I do appreciate the video. But yeah, yeah, it just it, it just I've always felt there's certain bands because I'm a similar age that I've kind of lived vicariously through them because around the time they started was around the time I started playing in bands and I see other bands take off and I go, oh, man, that's so fucking awesome. Wasn't me, but whatever, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. yes. So there's, I mean, a, there's I, a connection I, there. I know what you mean about heavy handed, but uh, sometimes um it has its place do you know what yeah. i mean it's like I, yeah yeah you know you can call it writing on the nose you know a bit obvious heady handed whatever but also you can also i think it's quite brave because it doesn't you can use metaphor as as a as a way of shying away from actually um dealing with topics directly sometimes yeah. metaphor is a way of hiding um and I'm not saying that's a good or a bad thing. Yeah. But to t- to make the decision to go, well, I'm not going to dress this dress this up in in metaphor and analogy. I'm going to tell it actually how it is and leave no one in any doubt what this yeah. is about. That to me says that it was just pretty much overwhelmingly powerful that they that, that it's just like yeah let's actually just put it out there because this is what this album is all about. This is the yeah. message of the album, which is, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have to die for for somebody in your life to realize that, you know what, we should have actually buried all of that shit. And now I never can. Yeah, ab- absolutely. I, th- that's, that's a great way to put it. And that's probably, a, you know, a, a big reason why I connect with the album because it's, there's, there's that part of me that I, I relate to that in certain ways, but also I just, I feel happy for them. I'm like, I'm glad they got to do it. 
hopefully they keep doing it for a while. Who knows if I'll even care when they put out another album, but we'll see, you know, point is I like this one. So, you know, had to talk yeah. about it before the end of the year, but cool, man. Cool. Cool. Well, um, uh, yeah. So next up is an EP from me. Oh, this is, shit. this is my, it's the final thing. Yeah, I know. And, um, even more, Oh shit is the fact that, um, I actually discovered this, um, today. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. It came from a label. Um, I think it's out in January. Um, and the band is called um, Aluvile, A L L U V I A L. Okay. Okay. Um, I know nothing about them. I haven't done re any research. I've been busy today. Haven't had a chance to jump on anything to find out. All I did was like, label sent me a link, went there, listened. Thought that's cool. Downloaded it. I didn't even know it was an EP. I unpacked the the I unpacked the um, the zip file and I was like, "There's only four tracks. Where's the rest of it? This is fucking ridiculous." <laughs> and then I went back and said, "Oh, it's an EP. That's why there's only four songs. You dickhead." Um, so um, so yeah, I, I and um, uh, the EP is called um, "Death Is But a Door," and I've played it three times today, and it is somewhere between. Death Metal and Gajira. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, it's like right out the gate, there was like, mm, that's interesting. Oh, what are they doing there? Yeah, right. And i got to say, I mean, you know, three listens in, I'm nothing the wiser <laughs> um, <laughs> to, to, to the first listen. It's, it's, it's good. But all I know is, you know what it's like. You know, on one listen, you can tell whether something's worth a second listen. You can yeah. tell if something's quality. Yeah, you know, and straight away I was like, hmm, okay. Can I can I get with the vocals? Well, the music's interesting. The, the, the music is interesting here. They're doing something interesting. So I'm all about the interesting. Keep listening. Uh and then and then the vocals will either prevent me from getting into it or I'll tune out or I'll start liking them. Yeah. I don't know where I am at the it's, moment. It's funny that you say that because that's kind of that's how I listen to new stuff too, because I'm always I'm always skipping to the point where I go, okay, this sounds good. Where are the fucking vocals? And I always have to skip to that. And that's the last part where I go, I'm in. Or that could easily just make me go, no, nope, it's not for me. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's, 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 it's the three stages of vocals for me. It's like, you know, um, it's musically interesting. What the vocals like, eh, I, I, not, not terrible. Not going to be, you know, if it was like, I'm done. Fuck off. Yeah. Sorry, great musicians, but you know, the dude puking down the mic can fuck off. <laughs> um, but um, uh, yeah, this one I was like, oh, right, okay, okay. There's there's a style there. If I can puck, if I can pick words out, if there's some diction going on, that helps. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I was like, right, okay, yeah, I, and I, you know, sorry, people, I, you will hear this reviewed uh, elsewhere, and they'll tell you all about who's in the band and the history and everything else. This is not that podcast, okay? Yeah. Uh, busy day, listen to it three times. Um, I, I, you know, I, I can't even tell you how much I like it because I don't know yet. Great review, fucking useless. Yeah, um, but, I, but I, I like this though because it's a really nice segue because you're reviewing an album that you just discovered that actually comes out next year and then i'm wanting to talk about albums that don't come out till next year so it's a nice you've literally of just passed the torch and uh it's it's that's that's a pro move right there see 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 what he did there kids see what he did he's <laughs> saying it was a pro move by me but really as soon as i mentioned this album comes out in january he thought right i'm gonna fucking jump all over this <laughs> when he sh <laughs> when he shuts the fuck up we're moving into next year <laughs> <laughs> um uh, no that's not that sounds interesting i'll have to check that i probably got that email too i've got I've, i'm now lucky enough to be on a lot of those email lists yeah um where absolutely. i'm getting to hear some stuff early um but yeah there there i've got like a like a few different sections here because there are albums that are already announced for 2024 there yeah. are bands that i know have been in the studio and then there are bands where you've just heard rumblings that there might be something going on so New Anthrax. Um, that's yeah, that's one of them. But let's talk about the ones that are actually coming out. The things that I'm looking forward to the most. Uh, there's a there's a, a debut album from a band from Montreal. Um, the band's called Dissimulator, 
and uh, their album comes out January. I think it's January, and it's called Lower Form Resistance, and they are technical thrashy stuff on the more brutal side. But it's almost like they're. I mean, they're from they're from they're from you know from Canada, so there's a little bit of that. You know, they 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 like Voivod, and so there's um, it's thrash metal. Probably would be the big term I would use over it, but it's it's very interesting stuff. Like I, I've only heard the one track. They've only put out one track, ah, but that right, track okay. was good enough to where I was just like, "Holy shit, who the fuck is this?" So I'm really looking forward to this because that's right up my alley. Where it's thrash the, metal, the but, simulator, no, dissimulator, D I S S I M U L A T O R, dissimulator, one word, but. Um, I love the I love thrash metal a bit. You hear it and you go, that's thrash. But then the things that they do, you go, oh, cool. This is not going in directions that I've been. They're not j- just following this map of like 20 other, you know, uh, thrash bands. And so yeah. um, it's kind of like how I was with like Cryptosis. First time I heard Cryptosis, I was just like, this is thrash. But it's it ticked all these boxes of like, this is exciting. And you plucked that you plucked that right out of my head because your description as soon as you mentioned Voivod and the, the hardcore thrash, I was like, hmm, sounds like yeah, sounds like cryptosis to me. Yeah. So if you so I, I, so if you see the dissimulator album come through your inbox, just you'll know, check that out because it's uh, Will do. seems like it's gonna be cool. Um there there's a band from my hometown of Austin, Texas called Transit Method. They have a new album coming out called Other Void, and they're very uh proggy they're almost like a, a, a if rush was more metal um that's what transit method sounds like um they're they're oh hang on hang on i'm sorry but i've been hearing like a metal rush for yeah. about 25 fucking years yeah and i've yet to hear the metal band that sounds like rush do you know it's it's it you know they get they get mentioned a little bit of an influence um and um i'm I, that makes me suspicious well that and yeah. the name of the band sounds like a question on a fucking government form yeah <laughs> yeah um they're they're a unique band but they they so they remind me of like early day rush like like okay like first couple albums rush where it's where there's there's probably oh, shit albums. rush there is no such thing, Howard. <laughs> no, well, no, but no. I mean, you, you know, you love them all, you know, like your children, but you love some more than others. And it's like, yeah, you yeah, know, they, they hadn't it, found, they, they didn't find their strap straight away. It's just more of, there's more of an edge and a rawness to it, but it's got that prog rock, uh, you know, I don't know, open scope kind of thing where it's, it's epic in certain ways. Um, but it's not like full on metal. There's metal elements in it. That's probably the reason why I'm ha- I'm I'm comfortable comparing it to Rush because it's it's it, in in it's nowhere near what Rush were capable of doing. But it's got that thing where Rush is a band where if somebody said metal, I'd say, well, you're right and you're wrong. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, and yeah. so tra- and Transit Method is kind of like that where they are. You can hear elements where you go, well, they sound kind of like an indie rock band here. Well, they sound kind of like a metal band here. Um, but yeah. there's this overarching sort of proggy, interesting quality to them. And the vocals, he's got a higher range. so He doesn't sound like Getty Lee, but all those things together. Um, probably the closest you're going to come to anybody, you know, nailing, calling something a more metal rush. But that's yeah, that's, that's yeah. just I mean. Me. But uh, Rush, Rush, uh, you know, uh, are metal in the the same way that Queen are metal. They're not metal, yeah, but, but they are. But they, they're not. They, yeah, they, 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 but they, they've they've had a big influence in metal. But they're not metal. But sometimes they are, but only for a short time. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and so uh, I got I got a couple. I got two more that are coming out. Um, this is this is the album I'm looking forward to so far, more than any. And this is a brand new band to me. Uh, they're a band from Germany called Slope, and they are technically a hardcore band. Um, right. Everybody keeps comparing them to, God damn it, why do I always forget that band's name? Um, they did the album that you and I both liked with the pink cover with the clouds on it. Um, pink cover with the clouds on it? Yeah, we but we reviewed that album last year, 
Shit. Anyway, anyway, they're a yeah. hardcore band that everybody loves and everybody talks about. Um, oh, I know who you mean. Turn, turnstile, turnstile. Yeah. So people are comparing this to turnstile, which I think is very unfair uh, because there's only a part of it that maybe sounds kind of like turnstile. They have an album coming out called uh, called Freak Dreams, and it is it reminds me of what some bands were doing in the late eighties and early nineties, where they they were technically a metal band, but they literally were going in any direction they wanted to go, no matter what, and somehow making it into a cohesive song. Um, and they they remind me of I, I don't know if you're a fan of this era of the band at all, but uh suicidal tendencies put out that album the art of of uh what is it called the art of god damn it art of rebellion <laughs> art of rebellion and that's the one where everyone's like oh that's that's the shitty one where they do all the weird songs I'm like i fucking love that one and that's kind of what slope reminds me of the 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 weird song era of suicidal Br- tendencies. brilliant you've just you've as a promo dude you've just turned a load of people off that <laughs> whatever hey, you know that you know that re- you know that horrible suicidals album that sounds directionless and they're desperate it's not horrible like- it's so good <laughs> that's that is aged so well like a fine wine that one uh, um right okay but the so this is like that where it's hardcore elements but they every single song i've heard which so far they've released three every song i'm just like so happy to listen to it over and over again because of the different elements and how they do it and it's just they um they're they're fucking great. You may have this album in your in your inbox because I got it. I got the promo for it. Ah right um, okay. But I, I've I, only I genuinely I don't recognize the name. I haven't seen it. Well, it's just well the band's called Slope. That's not very memorable. But <laughs> yeah no no it, no I think I think that is I think that is because it's an incredibly derogatory term if you think about it. Um, and, oh, it, I don't know if, I, mean, I don't know if how, I don't know if how this, that's how they mean it, but I don't know. They're no, German. I'm sure it, I'm sure it isn't. Yeah yeah G- Germans aren't known for that. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm sure I would have noticed it come through my inbox. I mean, I, I, I get so much stuff now. I have to say, I'm I'm filtering a lot out. Apart, it's from got some, a, it's got a great cover this, art too. Well, apart from the stuff that is really shit and the stuff that's really shit, I've taken to posting on Patreon and slagging it off. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, and so you too can uh, you know dive in and see what exactly I'm slagging off. Um, if you sign up uh, at Patreon, links everywhere in the description of the podcast. In the oh, you froze. Okay, no, you were frozen for a second, but you're back. Okay, cool. Um, I right, la- last but not least, speaking of albums that I didn't expect to care about, you're frozen again. Are you having an issue over there? Yeah, that's the VPN kicking in. Okay, all right. So we're, yeah. we're good now. You're uh, back. So I paused it for an hour, um, and it clicked and it clicked back on. So I'm just going to keep an eye on it again. Okay. Um, so uh, we can. You might have two cents about this one. Uh, the new Judas Priest album comes out next year. Um, Invincible right. Shield. And 2024 has been an interesting year because it's the year that I finally got into Priest. Um, Mostly. 2023 actually 2024 is next year oh, fuck i'm already in the future man um that's where my brain yeah. is. yeah so but i've i've uh, but Love i it. especially early priest especially 80s priests i've gotten very into that and um so i i'm like oh, okay cool they got a new album coming out and i was pleasantly surprised that i enjoyed both tracks i've heard so far so i am fully on board who knows how the whole album will sound to me but the first two singles a lot of fun, great energy. Rob still sounds fucking fantastic. So shit. I mean, um, I'm 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 in I'm into I'm into that. We'll we'll talk about it. We'll review it when it comes out. Obviously. Yeah, I'm. I you know I I was into I was into pre- a priest for a, a minute back in the eighties there, but it's you know yeah they've never they've never really lit my fire. Uh, total you know respect to Halford and yeah. the legacy and everything else uh but yeah just just not for me i'm it, surprised actually that you haven't mentioned one band uh whose album's coming out that um will be right at the fucking top of uh our lists and who's, who's, the reason who's you probably that? haven't mentioned it is because we don't know what the fucking band's called yet but we know that the main dude is called kerry king oh well here's here's the thing 
I am mm. fully prepared to hate that <laughs> because I, I I think it's I think it's going to kill. I think it, I think it'll sound I think it'll sound just like um, I think it'll sound a lot like Slayer has. Um, yeah, and um, and, that, and I'm up that, to some of that. If that's the case, I'm going to be out real quick. <laughs> it's going to um, because like um, the Slayer already did Slayer, and and yeah. And kick, yeah. And Carrie King is the person that I like the least from Slayer. <laughs> so And and look, that's that's a popular opinion. That is a popular yeah. opinion. Um, but you know, no Kerry King, Slayer uh, Slayer oh. would have been, not have been around for about the last 15 years. Oh sure. Um, no, no, I I, yeah. I understand that. I'm interested. Don't get me wrong. I am interested. Yeah. But you're 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 more in the um I uh, you know all this is going to prove is that Slayer chucked it in at the right time and Tom Araya's, um, uh, Tom Araya's judgment is better than Kerry King's. Could be. They should have chucked it in one album earlier, in my opinion. But still, you know, it's it, 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 that's just my... I didn't really like that last album. I thought it was, it was real... <laughs> it was real basic yeah. with some good guitar solos from Gary Holt. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, look, I, I, I think that I think there is, I think there's three or four uh, good songs on there, sure. um, you know, and um, but hey, it, it's I, I'm 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 interested to see. I mean, excuse me, folks, just plugging in to make sure we don't I don't disappear. Um, no, I am pretty sure that the project's just going to be called Kerry King because he showed that logo that's the two Ks, which I'm just like that's on brand for for him. <laughs> Just need yeah. one more. Just need one more K, and we're <laughs> we've got all oh. well set up. That, that's um, that. That's harsh. That is anyway, very harsh. He's. But I, I mean, I, he's yeah. had questionable things that he's done. And, uh, um. Yeah. Yes. Um. But also, um. I. I don't think Kerry King's politics are what people think they are. Um. Purely because that. I know that when there was a controversy about something posted on the um, socials around the election, yeah. that it was posted by Tom Araya, of all people. Oh, yeah. And Kerry King was really not happy about it. Oh. He was not happy with he was not happy to be lumped in with that opinion, which was not his. And he was also unhappy about anything to do with politics being across Slayer socials. Yeah. Um, I, I He's without doubt said some regrettable things in the past. Um, um but I, I, you know, I, I think there's a, yeah, I, I think Kerry King gives so, so little of a shit about what people think about him. Yeah. That he doesn't go out of his way to put records straight or, or anything like that because yeah. he doesn't see it as his fucking job. He's a musician and, and, and that's it. Um, yeah. And I, you know, and, and you know, I respect that. And yeah, Kerry Burger King and all the rest of it. <laughs> Everyone's welcome to all of that shit. Um, yeah. But I will be definitely paying a huge amount of interest. And you know, I I don't think I don't think it's going to be. Uh, I, I think it will sound a fair. Yeah, you know, it's going to sound Slayerish because it's Kerry King. Yeah. Um, Bostaff's on it. It's it's. But I, I, I think oh, they've announced that with Paul Bostaff. Oh, that's been well. Bostaff's mentioned it ages ago. And, okay, well, then, that's that. I mean, I, I like that guy too. So shit. I mean, you know, yeah. But then again, that's you know, that's that's drums and and guitar. You know, who the fuck's on vocals? You know, that's that's the big question. Um. So yeah, yeah we'll see. And by the way, everything I just said about Kerry King. If it is Phil and Selmo and vocals, yeah, they no. can all get, they can all get <laughs> See, there you go. <laughs> now, now you get it. Absolutely. Um, they can all get um, the fucking bin. No, I'm I'm all I'm all about a good redemption. By, by the way, right so. now, right now, I would tell my Phil and Selmo story, but unfortunately I can't because um it would mean that everything that we do here would get taken down and we would be pursued legally. Um but yeah, anyway, I'll tell you that when we're not recording. That's that's awesome. Anyway, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come see my live show, folks. I'll tell you it then. I still I don't even do it in my live show. I won't say it when maybe I'll I'll I'm happy to tell it one on one, but I ain't I ain't fucking telling that story to anybody. Okay. Okay. And that's all that's all I need to know. Um so yes, that one's coming out. Now moving on to bands that I know are in the studio. Mm -hmm. And anthrax have been in the studio, obviously. You've seen we've seen we've seen footage of it, and I'm yeah. They're one of my favorite bands ever, so I'm very excited 
uh, to see what they pull out. Same thing with Testament. Testament has also been in the studio. Um, Gore Guts have been in the studio. I'm, I love that band. Um, Anthrax. Uh, yeah, I, I, and then Testament. Gorgut, yeah, Anthrax, Testament, Gore Guts. Yeah, yeah, right in there with Anthrax and Testament. It, that's that's on brand for old head though for me to for me yeah. to throw out testament and then gore cuts <laughs> oh you're oh you're a fucking brand now are you <laughs> i am i've been doing it long enough damn it tm is going to be at the end of my name now uh, yeah it should I, but how, I, how long have you been doing it uh I, my five-year anniversary is coming up in like a week two weeks but, hey do you know what well there's an anniversary episode of talking bollocks coming up very soon kids that yeah that as well but that's that's much longer you've been doing <laughs> you've been doing that well twice 10 years Fuck. Yeah. But, but anyway um, and la last but not least a band that I, I don't know if you're familiar with but i love called whores they're like a fucking i don't know if you don't know whores yet i can't fucking help you but, well hang on, uh, hang on. But, you mean you mean whore singular whores plural yeah, whores, plural. W-H-O-R-E-S. Um, oh, right. No fucking about. They've been around for a while. Um, they're very, they're very uh, noise rock, really heavy. Uh, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard to explain. They have a new album coming out. I love them. Um, what kind of, uh, can you give me, can you give me a, uh, you know, a comparison, a kind of, you know, for fans uh, of? For fans of. I don't know if helmet was way heavier mm. and more aggressive than that would then okay. that's then that's whores basically right okay well i'm gonna go listen to me some whores yeah they're they, they have they have two eps and a full length out um but this will be their next one but yeah they're a great I band see, great I, live I, great fucking live band like that's a I band see band. i see what you did there i see what you did there what whores did? Whore, whores full length <laughs> oh man i i should have i should have but i didn't yeah all right yeah. <laughs> all right next up next up bands yeah. that there i don't have proof that they're in the studio but, but there's you. a possibility uh yeah. su suicidal tendencies which uh, very recently mike muir i love any, every suicidal album but my favorite thing is mike muir said something that makes me very happy which he said the next album is going to be kind of weird and a lot of people may not like it. And I went, that just means I'm going to fucking love it. So thank you, Mike. Um, and, uh, <laughs> atheist. Uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm bang up for that. And I, can we, if we can just skip back to, to suicidal. suicidals for me, Got it. Got I it. mean, you know, any new album that isn't basically an EP and four versions of one song will, <laughs> will, will, will be greatly appreciated. Yeah. They haven't put out a legit the, album in, a while. It's been a the while. output has been severely lacking. Yes. Yeah. But anyway, Atheist, yeah, totally on board for that. Kelly's very excited about it. Um and yeah, I'm I'm yeah, you know, Dylan from who's the the drummer in Atheist now and is in Fermenta. Um mm -hmm. he was on Talking Bollocks recently and um yeah, he 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 was very cryptic in that interview. He was like, mm, I'm, you might be seeing me sooner than you think." And then boom, March 20 uh 24 gonna be um meeting uh, meeting kelly down in london and uh, nice. and having a few beers yeah nice i will excited I, for that i'll ho hopefully they'll come through here because i'll be doing that as well i've gotten a uh, kind of friendly with kelly as well cool um, he's a, he is a that, that is a that is a really cool guy right there like that's that's one of those uh, I, I've, yeah. I've told a lot of people sometimes you know, they always say you know don't meet your heroes but sometimes you meet them and they're cool as fuck. i mean you know, case in point, Howard. Oh, H. Don't, oh, well, oh, don't be, don't, don't be silly. That's that's <laughs> way too flat. That's way too flattering. But Kelly, Kelly is 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 very cool. Is very yeah. cool. I remember the first time I had him on the podcast, and um, we were doing stuff behind the paywall, and um, and and he was just like, yeah, he was just brutally honest, and yeah. um, I love anybody who's just you know brutally honest like that. Yeah. Um. Also, uh, Sacred Reich. May, may I don't know. I know they've done demos, but that's all I know. Um, and the and you know, it's I'm I've heard little snippets of uh, a demo or two, and they they're very thrashy. So I think a lot of people are probably going to be happy with that. Cool. Um, would you would you uh, a death a death angel album as well? Really, De death angel is also one where where I they 
did they even announce they were in the studio or has it just been they're no, going to no i'm ju- i'm just going i'm just going on you mentioned sacred reich and yeah. i always think of sacred reich and death angel as as a team for some reason um and I, yeah i just suddenly thought yeah death angel definitely due definitely I don't, due I, I don't know if they're working on anything new but but that sparked a thing in my brain dark angel isn't dark angel making an album now as well yeah uh, they're still writing but they're still touring um and and yeah. obviously the death of jim durkin is i i think has thrown a spanner in the works that nobody could have predicted so um yeah i think it might be 25 before before any dark angel or for that matter any acid rain but uh well i mean but i'm not going to say anything about acid rain <laughs> tune cool. in say to my live i'm not here go to my live gig where i talk about the new acid rain <laughs> um but uh now here now here we're going to have two in a row one that you're going to very much care about probably and one that you're not going to give two fucks about uh sounds good propagandi apparently are going to put out an album so that very excited already the, yes because they they've never put out anything that wasn't fucking top notch yeah um and this is one i don't know if it's going to come out but i'm highly interested and that is guns and roses uh because they've put out four songs now two last year two this year have they they have all right okay funny enough i've actually liked all four of them so i'm just like okay well whatever i'm just i'm just ready for them to actually put out an album so i can fully decide if I care now or not because you know it's it's I'm on the fence but um um and then oh and then a possibly uh new music from me in 2024 so uh that'll be uh that's that's a thing cool it might happen um, all right cool I wasn't expecting that yeah cool because I because I <clears throat> I've I got over my uh writer's block and so like I just put out that song like two weeks ago or whatever, just a standalone yes. song. That's a song that musically has been was about eighty five percent done for three years, and I just right. couldn't. I wasn't happy with lyrics and vocals and whatever. But now I've gotten over that hump. But I also have like an eight song sort of mini album that's pretty much already done that I just got to work on vocals and stuff. And so I think that's my goal at least by the end of twenty twenty four to get that out. Oh, cool, man! Well, good yeah. luck. Yeah, good luck. Then you can you can come over here and support us when we put ours out. I, I, there's, <laughs> I don't want to be in a band anymore. <laughs> just bring a fucking drum machine. Okay, I'll do that. That's fine. Just look. Just just bring that. Or just bring the backing tracks. You know what I'm going to do? Play your bit live. I'm going to do what Kiss are doing, and I'm going to make uh, avatars avatar. of myself. Yeah. <laughs> And that's, oh my god and then i'm just going to project it on a screen and expect everybody to come out and, and watch that's going to be me yeah i mean let's not get into the kiss thing i'm i'm, <laughs> sa- I'm saving i'm saving my uh my venom for um for for an episode of talking bollocks um that's okay because you're it's you're you're in the you're not you're in the wrong place here with me because i am yeah a, exactly uh, i'm a lifelong kiss fan and i love everything yeah. they've done and i but i but i will admit I am a person that Kiss has gotten a lot of my money over the years, but if 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 it is what they're going to do, where they're like, "Hey, it's a virtual show, and you pay money to go see it," I probably won't. So yeah. that's where my Kiss fandom kind of ends when it gets to be stuff like that. I'm just like, "Nah, I'm good." Well, thanks. the bar is pretty fucking high for that because the ABBA show that is running that's been running for quite some time in London is is is, is that a real supposed, thing? Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, like, and I know like it's holograms I, I know, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and I know people who've been more than once who say it's absolutely fucking amazing. It's the biggest party you've ever been to. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. All right. look for it online. Look for it online. Do, I'll do, look do a up. search and it's yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's and that's that's playing in London and people can't get enough of it. Dang. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess you know, I, I won't make my decision yet, but the idea of it for me um, is not. Yeah. I don't really care that much. I, I have all my Kiss albums. If I want to revisit them, I can go listen to those. I'm good. Yeah, the the idea of uh, of Gene Simmons living on in Avatar for form just makes me pray for the entire world to be wiped out. <laughs> Well, well, we're, we're, I'm, I'm we're down going on in my right knees, <laughs> down on my knees, praying for Armageddon. Um, <laughs> that wish piss week radio rock is fucking gonna live forever. Oh, god, 
Um, anywho, anywho. Um, uh, that's look, it. That's all I got. Yeah, that, I, that's all I've got. Metaphorical paper being screwed up to go away. <laughs> um, guys, that's it. Thank you very much. Old Bollocks has rocked yet another Christmas. Um, thank you all for listening. This and, wasn't very um, festive, was it? <laughs> it's like... Yeah. Oh, put some fucking jingle bells in here or something, you know? Oh, he's putting on a Christmas hat for listeners. Um, I, actually, you do look frighteningly like Santa Claus now. That is a bit worrying. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, it's like it's it, yeah. This is it's like the dude from a monomath has and has crossed with Santa Claus. <laughs> I'm I'm Jesus and Santa Claus. They are one in the same. So there Singing you go. in a monomath, yeah. Um, so anyway, look, thanks for listening, guys. It's always a pleasure, and um, just you know, hang out. More coming your way very soon. Enjoy 2024. Bye. Bye.